Welcome back to Tahoe tonight. We're sitting in with Dan Wallish, local photographer and pretty much a guy that does everything in photography. <laughs> Dan, how you doing? Good, good. How you doing today? What's new? Oh, not much. Just uh, been out doing a little shooting and skiing and trying to enjoy this winter. Snow's finally here. You've been out in the back country at the resort shooting some stuff? Yeah, definitely. Been getting some good stuff. Finally got a little bit of snow last week. And yeah. yeah it's, been, it's been, winter's finally started. So tell me, for people out there that don't know who Dan Walsh is, I mean, a lot of us probably see you at Mont Blue. You know, yep. you do a lot of work for them. But, so, so who is Dan Walsh and, and why photography? Well, um, I'm pretty much a sports action photographer. Um, I also do a little editorial work for some commercial clients. Um, but yeah, the main thing is skiing. My passion is definitely skiing. I love being out there. You can usually find me on the top of a hill, getting ready to ski down some fresh snow. Yeah. Um, and then also got my camera with me now, and photography is quickly catching up as my number one passion. And you're doing a ton of work out there. I mean, I, I follow you on Facebook and everything like that. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of great <laughs> shots. I mean, where where would people actually see your work? Because your work's are everywhere around the area. Um, actually, I've been featured in a few things. Featured in Reno Tahoe Visitor Guidebook, um, which actually won a Gold Addy Award. I was there. Uh, Mm -hmm. I was there, I saw it. For my cover shots, so I was yeah. pretty proud of that. Um, also, danwallish.com has got all my work, my landscape, skiing, action, editorial. Um, I also shoot for Mont Blue, so I do a lot of their editorial work. Um, a lot of local businesses around town. Um, done work for Heavenly. Um, and then outside television. Actually, this shot right here is my shot right here. So Our backdrop here. Got, got that shot as well. So Spectacular shot. We get a lot of comments on that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, for nice sure. one. For so. Sure. so what drives you as a photographer? I mean, how do you, first of all, get into photography? Um, and then tell us about the passion. Well, definitely, it's like I said, skiing was my number one thing, snow. Yeah. But then, being a, growing up in Colorado, I've been hiking, skiing, motorcycling, doing all that, and I finally realized I should probably have a camera with me to document some of the places that I see. Sure. So once I got a camera, everywhere I go now, it's just I have to have a camera. I've got to be taking still images. I'm getting into videography as well, and there's just so many beautiful things. It's awesome to have a camera to capture it. And I see you now. You're doing a lot of shots for like action sports, so you can do a lot of backcountry stuff with a lot of athletes around the area. That's kind of what you'd like to focus on, correct? Definitely. And we're Definitely. talking about that because a lot of people are building their websites, building their Facebook, their social media, and they need good quality shots. The iPhone shots just don't work. <laughs> so it's perfect. Yeah, definitely. It's funny. Yeah, I've been out doing a little shooting with some local guys, uh, Scotty Hoffman. Uh -huh. Awesome, awesome snowboarder. Been getting some good stuff with him. And, and uh, yeah, definitely just looking forward to doing more of that. Get in the backcountry. We can take you out, get you some shots, like you said, for the website. Um, do whatever we want. We can blow them up, do whatever for social media. Um, that's the main goal is getting out there and getting the shots and having fun, setting up some stuff. It's just a blast being out there. Now in the park, because I mean, we got a lot of park people around. I mean, you have to really stage that stuff. I mean, how do you how do you go about shooting in parks? Definitely. Well, it's all you get out there. You just go through a few runs, and then, but yeah, you set some stuff up, and you kind of get in the right angle, tell them where to go, what they're gonna do, and then it's up to them to do the tricks, you know. And once they do it, I'm pretty much there to capture it, and then. We can just do whatever, put it into videos, put it on stills, and like you said, we put it all on the social medias where it's, it's kind of starts. It's true, <laughs> it's true, it's, it's a must. Content is key these days. And I have the question here, your wife wrote it, I gotta ask it, <laughs> you know, this is important. Stranded on a desert island, what would you go insane without, Dan? Well, definitely snow, and lots of it. You're not gonna say your wife. But also my beautiful wife. <laughs> my two kids, Brody and Mia. Yeah. to play with me in all the snow. Yeah. So, and then I've also got my camera with me, so I can take a lot of photographs of it. Yeah. On a desert island. Snow, <laughs> wife, and kids. Does that work? Does that can you work? get snow on desert island? I don't know. I hope I never get stranded on a desert island then. Tell Listen everybody how to get way. a hold of you, Dan. Um, you can get a hold of me on danwallish.com um, or danwallish at hotmail.com. Definitely but. something to check out. A lot of good content pieces, a lot of good shots on there. And thanks again for the backdrop. We no get problem. a lot of compliments. Glad you enjoy it, definitely. danwallish.com. We'll be back with more Tao tonight right after this.